Um, just a couple of finds from what we had from last week. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, one of the things, sorry about that, moving the old camera. One of the things from last week, um, a friend of ours, uh, Callum, turned around and said that it wasn't a mortar shell. It's an artillery shell that we got out. Um, if you'd like a bit more information on that and like to see the videos of the police turning up and the ambulances and stuff like that, if you click on to uh, Manchester Evening News, um, there were quite a good story on that. Um, I do apologise. Uh, it's not something we end up going looking for every week. But these things happen. Um, uh, I think it was a 57mm artillery shell trace around. Um, they say it's... I think they call it non-evasive or something like that. So not massively explosive. Um, so they say. Um, obviously that's the information we got from the police. So yeah, really nice find. Some of the other stuff we got out. Well, I'll start with the fishing lures anyway. This is what I think I got out. Nice little thing there. Bit of the red in there. Bit of the darkness on the bottom there. I think it's a dark black or green, which is nice. This is the one that Leo got out. That was the one that was attached to the um, fishing chair. This one is the best one of the day. Um, Andy's. Got to get that one in. Number four. Lovely little thing. Silver. Mint is that. Absolutely excellent find. This was Riley's little musket ball. It's not a ball bearing. Um, I've had it soaked in white vinegar for quite a while. Uh, it's too crude, uh, as, the, as they say. Um, musket balls. There's a bit of thing about musket balls. Uh, musket balls dating back 1600 to 1800 normally uh, were um, lead because they were cheaper uh, to mass produce. These more than likely uh, grape shots or in the um, a lot of them in in like a a big steel ball, uh, was steel, um, but they're roughly only about five percent of them. This is one I got out, the bigger one, exactly the same. Uh, Not a ball bearing, too crude, as you can see. I've tried to find the line that's round it because when they mould them, it leaves a really fine seam, goes round the middle, and a little notch at the top. That's how you can tell the difference, especially with cannonballs. They're done exactly the same. A um, few keys we got out. A um, couple of sets there look like padlock keys. So, yep, yeah, the nice little finds there. The other thing we got out, what I got out, was the um, tag for the Naughty Boys, as we call it, the Naughty Boys tag. Uh, if found, called, blah, 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 on the back. Uh, there's a reference number and a barcode. Um, tried to get in touch with them. It's a free number. Even though it was free, there were no one there. So I'm afraid that's going to the scrap. That was a nice little find. The other little one that rarely got out is Knife. That was a nice little find. The other two knives I got out, um, I'm going to show you the first one, I'm going to get it out. I've done a little bit of a clean up, they need a little bit more, is this one. Just bring it back a little bit so you can see a bit more. Got the, um, as we call them, the old Rambo knives. It's the old straight edge at the top there, and it's got like a compass at the top. Um, looked at the name of it, I thought, oh, we found a name, it's stainless steel Taiwan, so it's a cheap version. But that were a nice find. That came in that sheaf. I'll give it a bit of a clean up. But, you know, the, so that'll sit in there like that. As you do, as it does. The other one I got out was this one. That is mint. Um, I've tried to find a bit of information on this one. Um, there's no name on it. Well, I haven't found one yet. Um, the handle was a bit deceiving with the grip underneath. Thought it was a diver's knife. You can actually see the length of it um, as I'm stood to the length of that. I would probably say a good 18 inches, maybe more. Quite heavy. Um, 
Thought it was a Bowie knife with this bit here going round. But searched about 2,000 knives. Come to the conclusion, a friend of mine said, it's a diver's knife or uh, a marine's knife. No idea, to be honest with you. I'm going to try and get a bit more research on that. But yeah. Oh, the other thing that someone said to me, a good friend of mine, uh, ex-army man, he used to use these in the um, jungle warfare because it's quite large. It's black, so you can't see the silverness of it shining. Um, it came in this sheath, which is looking at it, looks leather, but it's not, it's plastic. This is where we got the idea from that all plastic um, sheaths are used in marine um, stuff like that. I'm just going to touch the screen there because it's just gone ten percent. That was a mint find. There she goes. There she's in. Straps there. Got the old rope. That would have tied around the leg, so it would have gone on the leg. One of the things that I found out about this little thing. Um, remember the pendant from last week? John the Wad. Didn't have a clue. So I researched a little bit about it. And it's actually, um, they call them Cornish Piskies. Not a pixie, a pisky. Um, these bring prosperity, wealth, good being. You can buy them in bottle tops, openers, uh, key rings. I think this is one from a key ring. They date back to about 1930. Um, this is not an older one because normally the older version, vintage ones, we'll call normally on the back, have John the Wad wrote on the back of there. So yeah, that was a nice little find. Um, Polpero in Cornwall is the actual place. So yeah, um, nine mil bullet that Riley got out last week, that's been handed into the police. Obviously all nine mil bullets are illegal. So that went back, uh, handed into them. We've handed in quite a few. We did take a video of that. So right guys, that's it for this week, um, for the finds from last week. Um, we'll get a few more cleaned up. I am going to do a video of the cleanups. Um, obviously, the old um, the balls that I got out, the Chinese balls, the knives, I'll get a bit more cleaned up on them. So, thank you for watching and please enjoy the video of the magnet fishing. See you later. Morning, all. Thank you for watching the intro of the finds. A little bit long, but we had a, a good few out last week. Um, uh, thank you for the message from Mr. Whiteman. I think that's how you pronounce your name. The boat hook I thought I got out last week, he's saying it's, um, he used to use them for coupling up the um, trains, um, so the buffers didn't get caught, I'm thinking I've got that right, so thank you for that lovely comment, um, one minute baby, that me already, um, but yeah, we're over in Todman today, um, there's a bit of scrap left on the floor, I'll, I'll show you that later, not much like, but we'll get that sorted out. We've got Craig with us, the two boys. There's Craig. Morning. There's Andy. Morning. And the two little boys down here. Hello. Hi. So let's do a bit of magnet fishing, see what we get out for you guys. Just a bit of scrap, guys. Not much. Big massive happy birthday to my lovely wife Natalie. Forty today. She's let me play out today. She's doing a bit of shopping. So love you loads. Oh, a fork. 
Yeah. Yeah. Lighter. And two or whatever these are. One. And two. Oh. And nail. And two pieces. Just bought some sort of bracket, guys. Craig just got that out. <clears throat> See if I can show you. It looks like a mini cannonball. There is a fine seam just going this way. I don't know if I can get any closer for you to see. Just there. So that's first row for uh, Craig, cannonball. So we're on a good start. Scream wiper guys. Nice. Oh, we've got a great cover and the great it's set. Oh. So we've got give me an L shaped bar. Up here. Bit of scrap. Bucket. Pedal. Okay, a little bit of a bracket by the looks of it, and a washer. Got a kiddie's bike, guys. Nice. Oh, yes. Got a little bag. See what we need. The bag went Zulus have been one of their spears. So, guys, got a shovel. First nose bottle, guys. Nice. Um, a big ball. It's a tool. Lightning struck, lightning strike scooter, no handlebars or I would have rode it. <laughs> Got some handlebars guys, we're on our bike. Craig's Christmas present for his beard. Scrap. Well, no, it's an old part of an old belt. Old belt.
pile for the guy back where the pedals go. Bike seat. Some sort of like top guys, I don't know. Like a screw bolt top thing. Nice. Bike seats. Bike seat guys. So guys, fit up there. I don't know what this is guys, but it looks like there's two balls that have been um, welded together or stuck together. But if you just look there, let me call you in a little bit. There's like a little seam in them. See it? Just there. So nice. Scrap and a pogo stick. Yeah. Right, guys, so I've just fished these out. Uh, Billy's just helped me uh, separate them. They were just like, like that, with a little bit of muck and rust and that, but they've come apart now. Yeah. And we had one on video. I'll show you it. There. And it looks like a cannonball with a seam. Right, see where they're together there, look. You can 
see I've got another one out with the similar seam you find it there as you can see it where they're connected there so that's your first one that's your second one and then that's your third one so what we'll do is if anybody knows if they are miniature cannonballs there's three of them now just give us a comment we'll take them on today clean them and i'll get them either put up today on the end of the video or monday and now andy's had a little incident and he's lost his rope so let's turn around <laughs> Looks like a fence post, guys, or something. Uh, fence post, fence top. See the little pattern going around there. Look, check that out. Nice, nice little find that. Well, we've got three people in the right camera. What then? Donut, like a bit of a charging cable, brake caliper. I was going to make a joke then, but I won't. Put it break. Oh, somebody's earring. So guys, I've just found this. Um, pull further back so they can see it all. No, pull further back. That's it. So guys, I found this. Don't know what it is. Leave um, a comment in the comment section if you know what it is. See, you know what them balls want doing with it? Well, a penny. Really lightly little sand. Yeah. Hey, look at this Ha! Riley, I thought I saw you. Yeah. You not get it? Yeah. Oh, double. double. Penny. Oh, Leo yeah, got a penny. And I got a double bolt. They're long, them guys. Probably put bridges. Nice. Yeah, so I've just saw Riley pull this out. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, nice, is that? Yeah. What do you say? Sorry, sorry, coming. Oh, Andy. Look at that. Nice little saw, that. I saw him find it, and Andy saw it coming. <laughs> oh, what we like here. Let's go 
Hát Four P, we are doing well. Wow. Rod side holder. The Walsh walking stick. Bike handle, brake cable, and a smoking implement. <laughs> Don't know what this is, guys, but it's got trigger at back. Read that in it. Do it tap on it. Craig, can you pass me a scraper? Yeah, what's up, mate? <coughs> Not a clue. Maybe I don't know. With a 2p and a nice little skateboard. Wee ha! Look that. Old fashioned tie hanger. <laughs> Good shot that to the camera. Look at this, guys. Right down there, they're getting chased by the geese. God. We just chased them, have you seen it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lord, they're going mental at them kids. That's because they've got younger than that, yeah, look. Well, got a crook lock out. Two P, and it looks like another little ball. We've got quite a few of them out, we'll give them a clean up. Obviously watch next week's video. And we'll get them cleaned up. Have a look. So guys, check this. Another ball. So we'll get them cleaned up and we'll see what they are guys. Cool. Old cassette. Now that's what I call music volume 24. For those of you too young, this is what we used to listen to before iPods and CDs. So guys, this is why we wear gloves when we're magnet fishing. Four razor blades. Look at them. Nasty. Oh, 
Scaffold pump guys, check that out. And a battered toupee. Yeah, that's it. There we go, someone's steel toe cap boot. Hold on, because Riley's. Uh... Hold on, Got a little cord. Okay, what are you doing? Some sort of bar, get off of the railing. And we're on the money again. We're on 3P. Well, I'm afraid Craig's got the grapple stuck right in the corners there. Just trying to point to it. Somewhere there, he's got the grappling hook stuck. And now he's trying to get it off. I think he's going up the stairs. So we'll see if he get it, gets it out. So there we go. Craig just got it out. You can see the rope. Yeah. Drop down. There we go. Yeah. Retrieved. And Any of you guys get stuck? Craig. There's uh, Ratchet's recovery. You stop getting involved um, in public. On the Facebook page. If you guys ever about, get your magnet stuck, ratchet stuck, anything stuck, ratchet's recovery, uh, Robbie Sampler, and a few of the boys in Young Platt, uh, will come out anywhere in West Yorkshire and stuff like that, and get them out for you. Never get into the water, never. Last week, Let's see, Let's put that in box here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Any ideas? Leave a comment, guys. Just turn you up a little bit because we turned you down for a little. Bit of a cold day, but yeah. Yeah. what's he got? Two of them. Andy's got two of them. Let's have a look. Oh. Ooh. We won't show you guys because I want to save it for the video. Yeah, that's definitely one anyway. That's five, six, is it five out, six out now? Jason Sandler, Sandler, where are you? An undisclosed location. Bad canal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere in Yorkshire. I'll make them put, all I want to do is do it. <laughs> Callum put Kevin and Bennett, oh yeah, by the way, Callum went. Uh, Give it two for your team. <laughs> Oh, Tim Pete. Ah, Dean. Have a great day, lads. Hope you hope, hope your day don't turn up some good finds. Another one of them. Hope your day turns up some good finds. They're yeah. too cute. Yeah, Start the chain. So Well, I've just got this out, and I've just mentioned it, you'll hear it in the video about shotguns. Just got a little gun out. I think it's a lighter, I'm not sure, we'll have a look. But let me hold it. There you go. Let me hold it. I think it's a little, little, little lighter one. Cannonball! So we're all at it now. That's why I've just got my little gun out. Riley's now just got himself. You think is another cannonball very nice we are going to have a proper look at these so we will do a clean up and let you know Where should we put it? so i think that's number six now Okay. What did you find? Well, 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 well. Alright, guys, we had a good day. There's the boys there. Say bye. 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 Like, and subscribe. Bye. Yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment. All good. We had a good day. Looks like we had a few cannonballs out. So. A like and subscribe from the guys leave us a comment if you wish i always answer him um anything the finds that we get i don't like that um if you haven't already give us a like give us a subscribe click on the notification bell create down seat background there and we shall see you later I'm falling, tell me why I'm falling.